that's, uh, that's pretty much it for another year. What's up, everybody? This is Justin Proper here. We're going to be talking about The Mandalorian, Chapter 8, Redemption. I don't know exactly who's being redeemed in this episode, but whatever. Um, I'm not really going to go through a summary of what happened, because I'm assuming, since there are spoilers in here, you've all seen it, or you don't care about spoilers. By the way, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications. Um... And let me know what you thought of The Mandalorian in the comment section down below. Um, anyways, uh, so pretty much picks up where the last episode left off. Um, there's a lot of scenes that kind of dragged on a little bit. Like, I could have done without all of the scout trooper humor. At least, I mean, it was funny. It was interesting. But there was like, okay, let's just put in a bunch of jokes. Like, oh, I want to see the child. I want to see the child. And scenes like this just are repetitive and they drag on a little bit. It's not... It didn't really build suspense for me. It just was like, okay, could we move on? Like, all of it was uh, just them escaping that building that they were surrounded by. They were surrounded in, and they escape. That's pretty much it. They're just in that situation. Um, I wish more things happened. Like, uh, um, things that would have surprised me. There was, like, a, the twist ending was good, and we're going to have to wait 10 months or, like, 11 months to see anything else. So... I'm a little, well, I would rather not wait <laughs> if, and I guess that's, uh, that's telling of a, at least a decent show. I'm curious as to what happens next. Um, and this season as a whole, um, there were a couple filler episodes I could have, you know, that could have been done without. Um, so I hope in the next season they're, they're longer episodes. They're more eventful. Um, the twist ending. So I'm just going to you know, put a spoiler warning out right now. Moff Gideon, who's the big baddie, takes out a silver lightsaber, and I guess he's a Jedi or some sort of, um, not a Sith, but something along those lines, um, perhaps, uh, and I don't know what to think of that. I Is that the reason why he wants the asset and he wants him killed let's see why, why he wants to kill baby yoda does he want to train him what does he want to do i'm really not sure about it um because he could raise baby yoda to be a bad guy i guess and he'd be really powerful he'd be on his side but um that i don't I guess that's not gonna happen um the mandalorian and uh baby yoda go off on their own adventure and i guess the it was explained in the episode that uh that the lady Mandalorian person was uh, like knew about the Jedi and knew Baby Yoda was a Jedi, but I don't know how she knew. I mean, did she know who Yoda was? Does she know what his species is? I, it still hasn't been named yet, and I'm happy about that. Thank goodness. Um, so, I guess... Uh, oh, this is something that kind of was a little annoying. Um... They took the Man Mandalorian got had his helmet taken off, and the audience got to see his face because uh, he was injured. He was about to die, and uh, the nurse droid was uh, trying to help him. And uh, I mean, I guess I, I could have lived without seeing his face. I think that was kind of a mistake because what happened was just a little joke that just didn't land, and that was it. And he sprayed back to spray on him. I'm like, you could have just cut that and it would have been fine. And the audience would have been like, oh, we want to see it. Instead, no, you just took off the helmet. And I don't know why. Maybe that's going to lead into something into season two. He'll take the helmet off for Baby Yoda or something. I I don't really know, but I thought that was a mistake. Um, oh, and they also named him. They gave him a name. Din Djarin, um, Moff Gideon, the big bad guy, uh, knew who he was. Um, which, that's fine, naming him, but I, I really, again, that's something I, I guess I, I missed the first time I watched it, um, I had to, like, go back and see it again, and it's just, um, well, that's another thing that I really didn't need, but it was fine that that was revealed, but you gave away the Mandalorian's name and his face, I mean, we know who Pedro, what Pedro Pascal looks like, you could look him up on the internet, and there he is, but... 
I mean, it, it was just best for the show not to show his face, which I think was a big mistake. Um, and a lot of scenes I felt dragged on a little bit, like um, the Lady Man DeLorean was explaining the significance of Baby Yoda, and I guess, like, because he's a foundling, now he'll be trained as a Mandalorian, which I don't know if that would work or not. I mean, it'd be like a little tiny Mando suit, I guess. I mean, I don't know how often you have tiny Mandalorians, but I guess it could work. Um, but uh, that they also said that you, uh, that he has to. Oh yeah, the Lady Mandalorian knows that Baby Yoda is a Jedi, or knows what the Force is. It doesn't name the Force, but um, which doesn't make sense because did, did she know Yoda? Did she know what the species? How does she know this? I, I your guess is as good as mine. Um, but I, and at the end, uh, it was a good twist. Um, I looking forward to what happens next. I wasn't, I'm still have a little bit of mixed feelings on it. Um, there's some moments where I'm just like, okay, like, can we move on? This is dumb. Uh, we're focusing on this too much. I want something else to happen. Not just, I feel like the stalemate that they were in with Moff Gideon and, uh, Cardoon Mando and Carl Weathers was just, uh, like, that felt like the entire episode was a stalemate of just, like, nothing happening on either side. I'm just like, let's have the story progress. Like, the nurse droid takes Baby Yoda from those scout troopers and then just brings him to the stalemate, and then they're back in the same situation as they were. Um, so, yeah, and then they escape on a lava river, and that was it. And uh, the awesome sequence with... Uh, Oh, the jetpack. Uh, th that was another thing that was kind of odd. Uh, the lady Mandalorian was like, oh, yeah, it only listens to, you know, your commands and or whatever. You have to something. It was a stupid explanation, and I didn't need that. And they say, like, oh, you got to, like, learn this or do this, blah, blah, blah. But it really all that did was just, like, it didn't matter at all because he used the jetpack just fine to take down the TIE fighter that Moff Gideon was on. So what was the whole point of just being like, oh, yeah, it's totally fine. You can just, like, like you have to, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, when you're being trained as a Jedi, like, you can't just know everything and do everything and do cool flips immediately. You have to get trained, and that's what it sort of felt like, but... It's like, you already know all of the... You know how it essentially functions, so... Why would you even bother to, like, tell them, oh, you, you need to do this, but they already can do that. It's just pointless. And, you know, there was a couple stupid things like that, but, um... I mean, it definitely was not the worst episode, um... But I think it's, like, mid-tier. Like, it's probably on the lower half of my list of, like, favorite to least favorite... It's definitely better than Chapter 5, which I still think was really stupid and lame. But, you know, uh, it's as a conclusion, it felt a little unsatisfying. It felt like they didn't know if they were going to get a second season or not, so they wanted to wrap things up. Uh, so, which which are th this is these are things that you didn't need to tell us. We didn't need to know Mando's name was Din Djarin. We didn't need to see his face because we know what Pedro looks like. And I think, I think that was a big mis- I still think it was a huge mistake to do that. So, a lot of dumb decisions were made, but, um, that I could have lived without, and I think it would have enhanced the show. I think there was a lot of fluff in this episode to make it longer, and it was just filled with, like, a, just either over-exposition, uh, or over-explaining things, and repeat, it being a little repetitive, or just- sequences th that was just for humor which I didn't really appreciate um I mean they were fine um in isolation but I want the story to keep going I want it to progress I wanted to go somewhere so yeah I was getting a little impatient after a while just like okay can we go now like it's it's not like and it's not one of those things where like oh it's well paced like it's like a slow burn no this is the finale this is the conclusion and there were a lot of cool parts like like literally obliterated all those stormtroopers the lady mandalorian crushed those five dudes who like surrounded her and that was uh yeah <laughs> that was that was pretty good um 
Uh, I really like the deaths here of all the stormtroopers. They were really cool. Um, the sequence where the Mandalorian gets uh, on a grapple hook on the TIE fighter and flies over there and plants a bomb and uh, <laughs> crashes a uh, Moff Gideon's ship. That was pretty awesome. Um, I like the twist at the end where it's like, okay, Moff, Moff Gideon is a Jedi. Or at the very least, he has a lightsaber. Maybe he knows about Luke Skywalker. I mean, I think that this could be the direction where they go, where they drop Baby Yoda off on the uh, <laughs> on whatever training island that he's at, which would mean that Baby Yoda dies, which that wouldn't work um, because Kylo Ren kills everybody. Uh, so, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, and maybe, maybe Baby Yoda is alive at the end of, uh, by the time, in the timeline of episode nine. I don't know. Um, but the scout troopers at the beginning, I think Ryan Kennel would really appreciate that scene because the scout troopers punch Baby Yoda like three times. So, Ryan would really like that, and he would appreciate it very much. Um, but uh, overall, I thought, you know, the episode was all right, uh, but as a conclusion, it didn't really feel, it felt like, it felt rushed at points where it should have been slowed down, I guess. And and there were the pointless, again, as I mentioned, the pointless moments where, you know, they just kind of drag it out. I, like, I think, like, they could have, they could have done it a executed a little bit better but um as a conclusion to season one um i thought it kind of failed but if as a continuation you know going into season two i think um i think it's fine um i wish more things had happened um but uh, and less reveal of the main character because that basically takes away the mystery of him and you did that at the finale of the first season like is this series gonna not last like longer than two or three seasons i mean i would be fine with uh if it was good and it kept going and it kept getting better i would be fine with having 10 seasons of the mandalorian but they gave away the mystery already um they set up some interesting things that they could do in season two and i look i'm looking forward to that and in a year, <laughs> so, but anyways, guys, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below, again, um, if you like this video, hit the like button, if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and shout out to my proper compadres over on Patreon, what an ass, what a bitch, what a cuck, and merry mayhem, thank you all so much, and as always, have a great day.